Hi, this is Alison from Freddy Loves Crochet. Um, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make these really cute little Christmas trees. Um, really nice put onto some twine um, for a garland. And you can also, if you've got any little wooden buttons, especially the star ones in particular, look nice on the top. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through today how to create the tree and put the little um, trunk on the bottom. So I've done mine um, in a dark green, which is coming off really dark, I think, on the video. But it's a like a dark kind of school uniform green. And this is a sage green. So I'm going to do the tutorial in sage because it's a little bit easier to see. So first of all, you need, you can you either use um, worsted weight yarn, which is Aran yarn, number four. Or you can use light worsted weight number three which is in the uk is known as double knitting um, but make and make sure you've got a matching hook so for the, the the thinner yarn use a probably about a four millimeter and for the thicker yarn i would go with a five millimeter hook so i'm using a double knitting which is a light worsted weight yarn um and a four millimeter hook so we're going to start off with a slip knot um hopefully something that you and we're going to make some certain assumptions that you are um can already crochet in this um tutorial so we've made a slip knot and we want to start off with a chain we're starting at the bottom of the tree and working up a chain of 15. Okay, so this pattern is worked in what's called single crochet in the US and double crochet in the UK. So there's no yarn over before we put our hook into the stitch. So we're going to skip the very first chain from the hook and we're going to start in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to do six single crochets. So we get to the middle. One, two, three. Okay, and then we need to do a, a single crochet decrease, which means we go into the first, sorry, the next um, stitch along, yarn over and pull it through. Don't finish the stitch off. You then put your hook into the next stitch along, yarn over, pull it through, and you should have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three at the same time. So we've taken two stitches and made them into one for a decrease. And hopefully we should be left with another six um, at this side. So another six single crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Okay, what happens is that decrease in the middle is what is going to form it to be tree shaped and to become narrower. So we're going to decrease one stitch each row. So we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to work back along. This, for the rest of the pattern, we now work in the back loops. Let me show you that. So instead of going into the whole of this, this stitch, we're just working in these back loops. There. And that's what creates that nice ribbed look. So this time I would like another, sorry, this time it's five single crochets. One, two, three, oops, four and five. And then we're going to do another decrease here. So still working in the back loops for the decrease. Hook in, yarn over, pull through. And then hook in the next stitch in the back loops again. Yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops. Pull through all three. And there should still be six single crochets left to do this side. So one. Two. Three, 
and six. Chain one and two. Okay, you can see it's already started to create that uh, V-shape where it's pulling in. It's because of that decrease right in the middle. So this time, still in the back loops, I'm going to work in the back loops all the way through. It's five single crochets. I primarily use um, US terms here. So a single crochet in the US is known as a double crochet in the UK terms. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And we've reached the middle ready for our decrease. Let me go off my two, three, four, five. I had done six there, take one out, so it should be five on that row. And then our decrease. Getting all mixed up with that tail in there. There we go. And then there should be another five to do this side. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, it has this nice ribbed effect to it. <clears throat> so it looks, I suppose, more tree-like, not flat. <clears throat> so how this works, basically, for the rest of it, until you get to the very end, you are just decreasing one stitch per row. So this time, we do four single crochets on this row. <clears throat> Then a decrease, and then five. De uh, after the decrease, there should be five single crochets left. Two, three, four, five. Always chaining one when we get to the end and turning as well. So again, we've got four. and a decrease and then another four it is a really quick little make this it doesn't take any time at all two three and four and then chain in one turn and if you follow the logical pattern this is now three before we do the decrease, trying to get that back loop. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, and then after that decrease, we've got four single crochets left. So it's three, then a decrease, and then four all in the back loops to get to the end of this row. It's fairly logical once you get into the swing of it. Chaining one and turn. And we start now with <clears throat> three. Have I done my chain? Haven't chained. There we go. Three. One. Two. Three and do our decrease and then another three one two three chain one and turn this time this row it starts with two before we do the decrease it's getting really small now so two decrease all in the back loops and then we've got another three to finish off this row one two three <clears throat> give myself some more yarn okay. uh, chain one and turn 
and then another two decrease and two Chain one turn. This row we start with one, then a decrease, and then there should be two. One, two. Chain one turn. This time there'll be one, decrease. and one chain one and turn this time one apologies this time it's a decrease you just start with a decrease and then it's one there we go one and so decrease and then one which leaves you with two stitches so chain one and turn and then we're just going to finish with just a decrease still in those back loops okay okay so <clears throat> now cut the yarn and fasten off and then pull that through to fasten off there we go pull it nice and tight and as you can see starting to look quite Christmas tree like so we need a little trunk on it here so I've got some brown yarn here <clears throat> now the best way to join I uh, this is the way I've been working but I prefer to now turn this over because I like the bottom to have that first ridge when you look at it that way it's kind of it's indented the way I like it that way I think it looks better as our front so I flip it over and we're just going to work across four stitches at the bottom here which is part in, in the chain that you started with so first of all I need to create a slip knot and put it onto your hook so we're going to do something called a standing cro single crochet standing stitch which is where you've got a slip knot on your hook ready and you um and you you join onto some work that you've already made using the slip knot already here. So I've turned it upside down and you need to identify the four stitches that you would like to work in. If you want your trunk bigger, you can always do it across more, but I do it. Um, so I'm going to use that one, that one, that one, and that one. They're in the middle of my uh, tree. If you want to do make it a wider stump or a thinner stump than you can do but that's <clears throat> about four I think looks about right so put my hook in and I can just start to crochet so these are all done in regular single crochets not back loops so we've got one two three four chain one and turn and another row so literally just single crocheting back across those four stitches so one two three and the last one is four and like i say these aren't in the back loops now these are going through both strands of our stitch and then i'm going to do one more you might want to make your trunk a little bit shorter or longer but i think three rows in total is about right <clears throat> trim our yarn pull it through so and then you'll just need to sew in the ends get one of your stars sew it on the top okay and there you have it an absolutely beautiful ribbed Christmas tree garland ready to look fabulous on your mantelpiece. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and I'll be back soon with another pattern for you.